boom. What's up, money geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about ticket symbol S O F I SoFi. So this is one of the fintech companies that we've covered here on the channel. And again, I've told you guys that I like this company because I see where uh, they're going. Um, I mean, the future is bright with the company. Um, I like the business model. I like how they're going after uh, the younger generation and really consolidating everything and putting it at your fingertip as far as uh, money management. So. I, I mean, I love the company. I'm an investor in the company. And so I think there's an opportunity here that um, I, you guys should definitely uh, be aware of. And also, uh, I want you guys to see what Kramer actually said about uh, this stock. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to SoFi, again, I've explained to you guys why I love this company. I like the business model. If you can see here, this is like an overall holistic management for the company. So we talk about investing. Uh, they invest in stocks and ETFs in crypto. Talk about personal loans. You can apply for personal loans and they run everything online. And you can get uh, you know your loan approved in less than 24 hours. Student loan refinancing, which is one of their biggest business. Um, then uh, SoFi money here, just basically uh, using them as your checking and savings account. And then uh, you have home loans and you can go credit cards and everything. So from insurance. So this is like a holistic money management. And I really like this company. So we look at other companies like uh, PayPal and Square. Those are two massive fintech companies with uh, a, a valuation of about 300 billion and 100 billion. 300 billion and 100 billion respectively. So if you're looking for the next thing uh, that is potential growth, I think SoFi fits the more um, to follow the, the, in the footsteps of those two big giants. So that's why I, I think this is a great opportunity um, to actually get into this stock. So if we take a look here where SoFi is currently trading at under $15, right now $14.28, I think this is again to me, this is a good level to, to keep loading up on the stack. So when each time when the stock drops under 15 or even at 15, I think it's a good place for long-term investors. If you're investing long-term, this is a good place for you to buy this stock and continue to build a good position because this is a five year project. In five years, it wouldn't surprise me if we see SoFi in the same category as Square and PayPal. And they might not be trading at the same amount, but you see this thing at least over a hundred bucks. Um, so it's a long term project that you can definitely embark on. And here's what uh, Jim Cramer actually um, said on uh, CNBC, his lightning round about on SoFi. So right here, let me highlight this so you guys can actually see right there. So SoFi Technology, he goes, frankly, I don't understand why this stock is where it is. I think CEO here, Anthony Nodo, is doing a terrific job. I think at $15, you buy the stock. I think you just go buy it. So again, right now trading under uh, $15, it's more of a load up on this stock and then sit back and again, give the stock time in the next five years so you can see development. So most people just want to buy it and see it move. We've gone past um, 2020. So 2020 was uh, an exceptional year. So we're not going to see those kinds of movements. So you have to give stock enough time to develop and do the things again. So far as an up and coming one. So I see this one as a really good alternative to the two expensive um, uh, the fintech companies like PayPal again and Square. Remember, this these companies came from the same place, and so I think SoFi is doing an excellent job. Um, their earnings report actually is what pushed the stock down because uh, they reported their their earnings and it wasn't uh, as expected. They actually lost money, um, especially from their uh, student uh, loan fin refinancing program. They lost about forty million dollars, and this is um, a combination because the uh, Biden administration is going through the process of doing what we call student loan forgiveness. So again, I'm anticipating that with the student loan forgiveness, uh, their re student loan refinancing business is probably going to take a hit. But 
uh, other parts of their businesses, like their uh, so far money is really, really doing great. So the, I, I see them putting in more money to expand that side of their business and continue to, to grow and hopefully balance and cover the losses that they're probably going to take from their student loan refinancing. So right now, I'm going to put the link in the description. If you if you want to refinance your loans or you see any of the, pro the, the product that they have here, uh, click on that link, sign up. I, it's my affiliate link so I'll get a commission uh, for you signing up so you you sign up you get a commission you get some free money I get I get a commission um, at, it's at no cost to you if you want to try the platform definitely click uh, in my affiliate link in the description below so that's all that I have for this video guys again uh, you see what Kramer is saying he thinks that so far is definitely a buy and remember this is not uh, some of like a day trade or a swing trade for the most part this is long term so you buy here and just find some place and let it sit there and ride and come back after three to five years and take and take stock of what you have so to me anytime it drops to that 15 dollar uh, on that 15 you keep you keep piling up on on the stocks and hopefully have enough that if it moves to a hundred dollars you can probably retire right it's, doesn't that sound great so again let me know what you think about uh so far in the comment section do you currently own so far your portfolio if yes what was your entry price let me know in the comment section if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content also guys if you are looking to get started with investing again you can use sofi or you can use webo i'm going to put my affiliate links in the description below definitely click on those and it helps the channel it helps me continue to make uh, more videos like this and as always guys do your due diligence don't be a greedy savage stay motivated